Hi moms, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is April and welcome to A Clean With Me. We're going to be cleaning and decluttering, especially to my moms that deal with depression. It can be hard, so I'm going to give you five tips on how to just clean up real quick and declutter your house so that way you can have a safe and clean space. First, I always like to make sure my son is either asleep or somewhere watching TV and with a snack. And my next thing I like to do when I'm cleaning is making sure I put on some music so I can vibe out and the process can go faster, girl. Or I'll listen to a podcast. I'm listening to Dr. Darius. He is my favorite as of recently. And of course, for the third step, we're going to ask somebody to help us. Especially when we're going through depression, it is so hard to just get up and get cleaning. Sometimes you're going to need that extra support. So ask your spouse, your kids, girl, forget that TV, and your family members just to help. My fourth step is just setting a timer, making sure we get things done, but also making sure we're not prolonging this cleaning girl. And whatever we get done, we get done. And what we don't finish, we'll finish tomorrow or the next week. And next step is just to get cleaning. Don't go back to lay down. Make sure you just get right, get cleaning so you can get everything done. And also, I'm not cleaning up my whole house. I'm not cleaning my bedrooms. I'm going to clean that tomorrow. But I'm just going to clean my kitchen, my bathroom, my living room. Just so I can do the important things that will just create a healthy environment for me to thrive in. Especially when I'm dealing with depression. I do not like the clutter. I think that makes me more sad more depressed so I just like to get my main things done and we'll finish the other things tomorrow Now, this is a really good product, the Family Guard Disinfectant Cleaner. To all my moms out there that have little ones and don't want to use Clorox or bleach, this still cleans and disinfects. Now, girl, I still use Clorox and I still use bleach, but I'm literally about to cook right after this, and I don't like to go in with heavy chemicals, so I like to use something that is still safe for my family, obviously. And this is one product that I really recommend, and it's effective. You can use it all over the house as well. One thing I like to do when I'm cleaning is making sure I'm refilling things like either the hand soap or putting towel papers on the dispenser or putting toilet paper in the bathroom because you know those family members that after they wipe their butt and they use up all the toilet paper they don't put that in the bathroom no that irritates me so I always like to make sure I refill everything did everything I'm never do in real life I stepped into a room, told everyone to be quiet Cause I had something to say, blew everybody away I wear whatever I want Dressed in a gown, everybody's like Why are you going nowhere special? Just going to the store I think I'd have it all, tell you why I've been more Picking the plate, being the plate She is on a roof I just want to say to my moms out there that are dealing with depression, it's not always the easiest thing to get up, get cleaning. It sometimes can be better said than done because we don't even have the energy, let alone. But I really, you can really underestimate cleaning and the power of cleaning and just having a clean space really helps you. Well, at least helps me have like, it's like mentally it helps me just clear my mind. I don't know if you ever walked into somewhere and it's so cluttered you feel like you can't think. That's the same thing I think sometimes. So when I was going through depression, it was a very important 
that I kept my space clean and I kept it functioning and I know it's hard because that's the last thing we want to do especially when we're moms and we have little ones to watch over but this has been something that has helped me so if you haven't cleaned girl get up try to clean the little things that you have even if it's just making your bed that is still so important putting the dishes away that is important throwing the trash away that is important even if it's just those minor things like sweeping like this it's something than rather than nothing God, you call me by my name The love you give me, I just can't deny yeah. No longer blinded, I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest now it's getting around holiday season and this is the time where i start to like donate clothes especially the clothes that we don't use it is very important there's a lot of people out there that need clothes guys don't just be throwing your clothes away girl donate them to a woman's shelter look up the nearest shelter near you it could be a men's shelter a children's shelter i don't know what it is but just donate them instead of throwing them away it will really help somebody out believe it or not I wanna go to Cali way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I wanna go to Cali way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you leave for me. God, just tell me what you need for me. Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity. Even though you told me already. God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm, told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone, know that I'm someone, no, I'm a child of God. Now I'm going in with pine saw to clean my floor. Comment down below, moms, what you use to clean your floor. I also love to use like Fabulosa, but your girl just picked up an old handy pine saw and it did the job, especially because now it has that like COVID killer, you know, it gets me all the time. <laughs> So now we're on to the bathroom. You will see Joshua a lot in this bathroom scene because 
I actually do not like cleaning the bathroom. That is not my forte. It's just very germy for me. And I am a germaphobe, I'm not gonna lie. I do not like to clean the bathroom, but I will clean it, but I just don't like it. So I make sure I get my help in the bathroom, cause uh-uh. Now this is the Clorox Ultra Foam for the bathroom. I love this product so much. This is like my third time buying it. And it really does clean. You guys see the bathroom. You see the tubs all white and sparkly. It's because of this part. It's because of this product. It's so good. And I just use a brush while well, Joshua was using a brush just to clean it up. It is a really good product. I use it for my bathtub, my toilet, my sink area. You can use it on the floor. You can use it everywhere. So pick this up if you haven't picked it up. So Joshua is going in with a toothbrush on the shower head. There has been like some white stuff that has been curling in the shower head. So I've been trying to clean it up. Somebody said to get a vinegar and put it in the bag and cover your shower heads. So I'm going to try that next because this didn't do the greatest job. It did get clean, but I need to get rid of that white stuff. It's starting to piss me off <laughs> and I don't like it at all. Next, I'm going in with Windex wipe. I do not like the spray. The spray makes me cough for some reason. So I love to use the wipes. And also, I wanted to remind you guys, like we are just cleaning and decluttering. We are not deep cleaning our house. We're just making our house look presentable, as my mom would say sometimes when we didn't deep clean. And that's all you need to do sometimes is just make your house look decent. You don't need to go so crazy. You don't need to go all ham, start cleaning the walls. Like back in the days, my mom used to wake me up to scrub the walls. We didn't do that. We ain't doing that today. Maybe next time. I just wanted to remind you guys that you guys don't have to be perfect. I know right now it's hard to see a way out of depression, but I promise you, you'll make it out. Keep your head up, moms. I love you guys, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next one.